hey y'all welcome into the channel i hope everyone is having a good day okay an amazing one all right so you guys let's go ahead and get into it let me tell you what i have for you first of all we're going to pull from this deck which is the lantern oracle i want to help um and see what direction on your path you are in going in headed in where, you, where your focus needs to be or how you could be feeling at this time i'm going to give you a present energy and a future energy okay and then we will um mm -hmm, wrap it up so welcome in i hope you guys are enjoying your weekend okay i know i have certainly enjoyed mine okay let's get into it that was very quick okay perspective oh we have two and distorted desire we're going to take perspective okay so right now i feel like you are looking so you have a view you have a you can see those who have a distorted desire that's how source just gave that to me okay whoever you are viewer you have the ability to see those or recognize those that have a distorted desire okay um so perspective it talks about a calm and clear mind is free to see differently and doesn't the weekend do that for us it like rejuvenates us it gives us that clear and calm mind so they were able to uh, see things clearly differently more open okay be more focused or whatever the case is it's like the energy maybe you haven't been getting enough rest and then all of a sudden, excuse me, all of a sudden you you ended up like getting a whole bunch of rest like over the weekend or something like that. All right. So take it as it resonates. Let's go ahead and get into it. Show me clearly you know, the ISIS. What my viewer needs to hear and see. So your reading is talking about the ceremony. You've been giving your cap and gown. Congratulations. Okay, on all the hard work you've done. All right, we have initiation. Same thing as the ceremony. Thick as a resignation. But we have initiation coming out. Spiritual testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. So you're about to be tested. I feel like it's you're going to be tested on your belief system. That's what I'm getting right now. Okay, or you could have recently been tested on your belief system. Okay, let's see what we have. My whole deck is in the reverse. Romantic love. We have change. Tantric journey. Okay, um, something about a love situation with the divine feminine could be changing your journey or your path, your direction and path. Okay, or maybe a divine feminine changed their direction and path as it relates to you. Take it as a resonates viewer, whoever you are. Let's get into your reading. Cap, which is your crown, and it's now a part of your spiritual body. It's unremovable. Okay, they can't take it no more. Okay, like. I don't know, something you've done, something you've awoken. Now it's like your crown cannot be taken from you. I feel Capricorn energy is so strong in this reading. It's not even funny. And I see that Capricorn card poking out. So anyway, um, <coughs> I'm, I'm being told Venus. The energy of Venus. Okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah, I just realized something. What is going on here? Did the battery die? Well, let's do this. Hold up, because my water... The oh, shit. That thing burned me. <laughs> Hold up. No, we are not having this. Hold on, y'all. Let me figure out what's going on with my waterfall. I mean, that thing went off. The battery must be dead. Let me stick this thing in here so I don't get water everywhere. And then let me do something. Yeah, the battery must have died. Oh, okay. There was a little bit of water that came out. I don't know. This is relevant to somebody's reading. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, I think the battery's dead. Okay, sorry, no waterfall for your reading. No water. It's funny because before I turned on the camera, I was thinking or I heard actually that the earth signs and the water signs were going to be under judgment and there's no water there's no water that's weird okay anyway okay so there's no water Ooh. so the return of your crown has dried up or drawn up the water so your crown was the ace of cups energy abundant your crown is very abundant your cap your cap is very abundant your consciousness 
your consciousness is very abundant. You are worth a lot of money, whoever you are. Something about your consciousness is like people would pay for that. Like somebody wants to pay or buy you, okay? Um, because the water's drawn up. You've drawn back and the water dried up. So your gown, you've been giving your gown as well, which is your robe, okay? And your robe has been returned or replaced depending on who you are, okay? If you're on the good side of your energy, it's been returned to you. If you're on the bad side, it's been replaced. The original owner, um, the original, your original robe is back to you. Cancer energy, fireman, okay? Um, a cancer could be significant. You may need to go watch the cancer reading. Okay, since that cancer card fell out of there like that. Um, I already did cancer, so give me angels and spirit guides. Most high, give me another energy that this reading could resonate with. <sighs> mm. <clears throat> Leo. Alright, Leo, this is your reading. Let's get into it. That's weird. I hate that that fountain went off like that, so my mind's a little... Boop, boop, little thrown off. Anyway, uh, bringing you back in. Okay, so the energy of the ox. Okay, the bull. Same thing, ox bull. Anyway, they function as both God and sacrificial objects in ancient times. Okay, representing strength and sacrifice. So I feel like something about your energy, which definitely strength, Leo, represent, and it talks about the Leo card. Leo in the Zodiac, I mean in the Tarot deck, is the strength card and the sun card. So this right here is talking about strength and sacrifice, okay? Um, I feel like you are being an open vessel, Leo, okay? And there's some type of, because it's like, because of your ability to be open, to be this open vessel, to like... What is the word I'm looking for? So it's like because you decided to be this open vessel to be open to newness, to new ideas, new paradigms, new information, new enlightenment, new structure, new belief, new codes, new values, new morals. You being open to these, being open, Leo, then what's about to come to you is endurance, confidence, power, stability, and fertility. Okay. Ooh. All right, so I'm only taking the three off the top, and we have authority, divine masculine, and we have remembrance. Now, the other ones that came out were magic and passion, okay? Um, Leo, someone could be doing some type of sex magic, okay, to get you to communicate with them. Hell no, we ain't having that, okay? I don't play that. I've been looking at stuff online lately, like, what in the hell is wrong with these people? But take it as a resonance. I just mind my own business, okay? I just mind my own business. I do what God tells me to do, and I shut up about the rest, okay? Because I feel like he's working that out. Leo, you could have maybe seen something in just go on, and you're like, you know what? That's okay. God going to handle you. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like that type of vibe. You could have also been very drawn to the color of um, aqua, Okay aqua i was drawn to my aqua crystal today all right so that could be um something you're drawn to you could recently have found out you're released empowered and divine okay you could have found out who you were like another name for yourself um another spiritual identity for yourself cartouche divine names of power is what i'm drawn to okay but we have planetary guardian all right so you found out you's a whole guardian out here okay um, either you're the guardian or you're protecting a guardian, okay? Or either you are a part of the protection plan. You're a part of the team. Planetary guardian, okay? What's at the bottom of the deck? Star centers, okay? So you already established your hub. I feel like you are <laughs> wielding your energy, um, in a good way. I'm only taking these two off the top with dolphin spirit here. Okay. Um, I feel you inter using the energy of laughter to incite enlightenment. Um, fifth dimensional access, light technology. That's like your superpower. Okay. Um, your ability to playfully glide. You're gliding. You're playfully gliding people into their 
into their oneness spiritual oneness with forgiveness and light technology i feel like you know that laughter is a good medicine okay and i feel you using that very wisely okay that's what i'm getting so let's see what else for you leo okay you could be a messenger a divine messenger okay Let's clarify why this authority is here. The frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. Mm, Leo, you may have tried to like be overbearing in a situation or overpowering or try to control something a little too much. Okay. And sources like, look, there's a, uh, you catch more bees with honey, that type of vibe. So you could be adding a little lightness. Okay, the energy of the deer spirit, being gentle, also giraffe, so that you can see things from a higher perspective. Okay, so I'm going to take as many as I need to cover each one of these cards. We have less there. They want that one on the dolphin play, queen of wands. They want this knight of wands on this divine masculine. And oh, so this divine masculine is taking the proper steps because they're remembering who they are they're taking the proper steps to remove themselves ace of swords from any low vibrational or lustful or egotistical desires so that they are able to um free themselves and serve as this guardian so the truth has set this leo free okay and prince of pentacles here the emperor five of swords they could have found out something about their masculine okay or a father figure an uncle a brother um a friend okay that they saw like nah this energy ain't right let me shuffle these one more time whatever ends up on the bottom of the deck that's what we'll take as your final card i feel like whatever comes out i need to just do it that way one more for leo thank you okay so four of cups leo you could be feeling um over it but we have luxury here okay um i feel like you felt over it you were over over indulging or over low vibrational energy something could have been trying to tempt you okay to like I don't know. I feel like something was trying to bring you back down to size or something like that. You were like, look, I'm not, mm -mm, I'm not none of that. Okay. Um, so you freed yourself and you took some sort of action, Prince of Pentacles. And that action that you took, that freedom or taking the lighter side or the higher road, whatever this is, it gained you this access. Like you laughed your way right on into the fifth dimensional access here. I see that. Someone like, oh, okay. Oh, you want to argue. Oh, you want to argue. <laughs> I'm not finna argue with you. It's like that type of vibe here, Leo, where you're like, oh, you want to argue. Oh, I'm not finna argue with you. I'm not. I'm going to let this sword talk, Ace of Swords, okay? Because I'm uh, just... <laughs> There's a force backing you, Leo, okay, um, with a planetary guardian, okay? This force, these forces with the tigers here, these white tigers, I was drawn to my tiger eye today. Very interesting. Um, anyway, this force with these tigers is giving me cherry energy.